know that the challenge with many believers in Africa and across the world is not ignorance. I do not believe the church is in ignorance. There never has been a time in the church age where there is such a manifestation of spiritual truth. From church to church, you go online and there are all kinds of messages attempting to communicate different dimensions of kingdom reality. So I do not believe that the church is necessarily in ignorance. But I believe that the truths have not been sequentially arranged to provide the victory. You see that? So we do not know what truth is responsible for what outcome. So we randomly apply truths in hope that one of them will work and the danger is that it will work but there is no mastery like a student goes to school goes to college you can graduate and keep learning but the body of knowledge that makes for the degree you can have it and exhaust it and be awarded that degree something plus something plus something plus something equals your victory in this life you, it's, not a, it's not an equation that is endless. The name given to the body of light that makes the saints outstanding is called marvelous light. It is on the strength of this body of knowledge that we are called a chosen generation. He calls us a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. What is our advantage? Access to marvelous light. Not just light. He made two great lights, the Bible says. One to rule in the day, the other to rule in the night. If you possess only the light that rules in the day, you will be in trouble in the night. You must sustain the light that can make you in dominion both in the day and the night. The power of God has been invested upon these truths and these principles. If applied and applied diligently, will turn anyone into a wonder. The truths are like a protocol if you walk them they will escort you to realms that veto your background to realms that veto your limitations so please i want you to believe and be prepared to don't just sit wondering okay let's hear i hope that i will get one or two things no these are principles um that are very powerful the bible says that when we pray we should pray that heaven is reproduced in our environment it says that the kingdom should come by thy will the word will there is is the same root word with the word logos the thoughts of a man that seeks expression that's where we get the word of god the logos the intention of the father that seeks to be expressed through the saints please give me this bottle of water anyone thank you now watch this everybody call this a product this is a product is that true hold this please lift it up this is a hundred a hundred dollar bill please lift it up now watch this in business every business person and all over South Africa look up please you know and you have been taught if you want this product this is the name given to the capital that buys it is that true that means if i give you a hundred dollar bill or if you have a hundred dollar bill you are happy because it sustains the ability to purchase this product in this case a bottle of water are we together now i want to introduce you to the capital that buys money when you want this what do you bring I know that I want this so this is what I use to buy this but if this is what I want what do I use to buy because this is also a product and there is a capital that buys that product the name of that capital is two riches the capital that buys money I want to build a house <laughs> are we together I want to buy clothes I want to live a comfortable life I want to sow into church but I have the product but I do not have the capital 
so i will need this the moment you give me this i begin to rejoice because it's the guarantee that i can have this i don't fear this when i have this what must i have to not fear this i mean you went to school this is this is this is are we together listen my brothers and sisters tonight's teaching will save you decades of frustration and shadow boxing i told you there is there is exactitude to spiritual operations hmm. the capital that buys money now let me tell you this do you know i, I hope you are not offended that i'm bringing out money please it's not i'm just for some reason this teaching requires it and and it looks like when we bring it out there will be understanding are we together there are people who will not get this thing at all until we just bring a token that that wakes them up praise god now watch this please listen to me for as long as i have this i will never fear this But when I do not have what buys this, I will always live in fear. I will always live in frustration. Nobody has money and walks to a shop being afraid. Please give me this, give me that, give me this. Okay, uh, do I want this? And people watch you. Your confidence shows that there's something in your pocket. So what must be in your life for you to look at this and say, give me this, add another one, more of this. How much is the house a million runs okay um give me this give me that this is true riches are we together and i'm going to show you that there are many other currencies we use for exchange money is only one of them if all you buy in your life is paid for with money you are not very rich and my prayer tonight is may you not be so poor that all you have is money what we are discussing is serious business tonight true riches are we blessed now so we will discuss very briefly i won't waste your time and then we'll pray Dear people of God, the church is a blessing. We are not a cause to society. We are not a nuisance to civilization. It's true. So he says, there is something called true riches. Jesus had it. He walked upon the earth and he had it. That there is something that the moment you carry, you begin to exhibit magnetic properties you are a human being but something that is in you and on you begins to exhibit properties that is akin to a magnet and suddenly you find out that you can lay up gold as dust your life becomes an epistle of wonder and people look at you and say no no i know you i mean you grew up there in that street and you say it's true but in my growth process i came across a body of truth and i submitted myself to that truth and this is what it has made me become you fear success when you don't know how it came fear is proof that there is no mastery are we together are we blessed thank you god bless you thank you this is for you all three god bless you thank you thank you now watch this in this kingdom please listen carefully listen carefully success was never designed to be pursued already if you seek success you have failed please listen don't be offended if i'm a bit harsh is is the depth of my love and my insistence that you get this thing this night are we together now that the moment you find yourself pursuing success you have already failed the first spiritual principle that i want to teach you tonight 
that the Bible calls true riches, the capital that buys not only money, buys influence. Are we together now? It's called the law of the mind. Please write it down. That in this kingdom, you don't make money off a business. A business is a reflection of your understanding. A business is a report card telling us how your mind is. Are we together now? This is very powerful. The Bible says, Genesis 11, please give it to us. The law of the mind. And let me, let me give you a little brief. Please look up. You are going to learn it now. It's very powerful. That realities, watch this. Realities are first formed in your mind before they are formed in your physical environment. Please listen to me. That the physical environment of a man is akin to a mirror. If I'm looking at myself in a mirror and I find a thread on my head, do I put my hand into the mirror to remove the thread? What do I do? I remove it and the guy in the mirror will obey. That guy in the mirror is your physical environment. And that the reality, listen, please listen to me. Attempting to become anything that is not yet captured in your mind is like pulling a rubber ring. It will go back. It will use a sequence of events that look like coincidences, but it is a law. Are we together now? Every dimension in life has treasures. I'm glad this is called the house of treasures. Every dimension in life has possibilities and realities attached to it. Are we together now? And that if you have not qualified in your mind and you force your physical environment to reflect that result, it will betray you and return you back to where you really belong. This is not demon oppression. It's a law. So everything in this life is built twice. First here, then here that anything that has already been built here there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to sabotage it come with me the whole earth was of one language and one speech let's hurry verse 2 it came to pass as they journeyed in the east they found a plain in the land of china and dwelt there this is the story of nimrod kush and the building of the tower of babel now tonight we are not arguing about the theological whether it was a physical building or spiritual building you just leave that one we are just discussing the concept now Nimrod Kush says Goto let us make brick now he's doing something to their minds they've not started building he's proposing it's like a manifesto are we together now he's saying let us make bricks he's creating imagery in their minds that's where you get the word imagination. The Bible says, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar. Next verse quickly. And they said, let us build what? A city and a tower whose top may reach unto the heavens. And let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad. Please keep verse 4. Watch this. In this chapter, the Holy Ghost is not there. In this chapter, demons are not there in this chapter satan is not there in this chapter redemption had not happened are we together next verse read verse five if you are a christian one two go keep verse five there while they were talking in the realm of the spirit a building was rising and god said who is already building the bible says the lord this is what he was seeing he came down to see a building that was finished they had not started but in the realm of the spirit what their minds were building was finished please understand what i'm telling you now hold on if the bible said an angel we can say the angel has fallen from grace but this is the lord yahweh the bible uses his name the Lord came down to say who is building whereas on earth the man is just talking to their minds they've not laid one block 
but in the realm of the spirit is finished could that be why your business has not risen because you are building something that does not have could it be that's why the ministry is not rising because you are attempting to build something physical and in the realm of the spirit there is no substance please sit down sit down we are warming this plane it has to fly high this night now watch this and then the Lord said now she's coming to their realm behold the people is one and they all have la one language and this they begin to do from their realm from the realm of the spirit the house the men build it finished they are about to start what is finished in this kingdom we only execute what is finished if it is not finished you will fail please listen to me hear me so you are in your one room no one knowing you and the Holy Ghost comes to you and says my son you may be in this room but I can take you around the globe and you are saying how I don't have a visa he says leave that I can take your mind let your mind go there it will call your body to follow it that everywhere your mind goes it sustains the intelligence to call your body it will fit all your background it will fit all policies it is a law it's not a suggestion please sit down Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 shilasadu sarasia haskabarunda siata now look up the bible says now not later now unto him that is able so god's ability is not in question you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or stop ask or help me south africa ask or if i say sit here or sit here it means either ways carry equal value sit down that means there are two prayer warriors that talk to god your mouth and your mind and that god is able to answer both requests listen sit down listen please listen listen it means your prayer can say Lord lift me and your mind says Lord forget about it the Bible says God is able to answer what kind of prayer requests have your mind raised to heaven could it be that every time you say Lord give me speed your mind says no Lord respect my will keep me where I am the Bible says both of them your asking and your thinking are prayer warriors hear me South Africa this is the mystery behind the sudden rise of people there is nobody who comes out of nowhere just forget about that nonsense while David is in the cave of Adulam his mind this is the excellency of the word of God its ability to paint pictures as you study the word of God you see it have been exalted above all the nations of the earth it's not just some preachers opinion and while you are there you are in the room and you don't even know where the next meal will come from the temptation is to try to fake your reality by looking for material things that show you have gone out of that realm here is an honest advice from someone who loves you passionately it's a total waste of time why fake what can be real are we together it's like going to steal something and finding out is yours 
look how foolish you are going to feel listen 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 CEOs men of God women of God all started most of them from a standpoint of disadvantage however when the Holy Ghost came to them he told them trust me I'm about to take you on a journey where is the visa where is the influence and he says follow me and I will make you follow me is God speaking to us tonight and you follow foolishly while you are walking with him the word of God is transiting your understanding there is no food yet I know things are not working yes I know we look at you and we cannot differentiate between the transited version of you and the prior version it does not yet appear what we shall be like however that transition is happening now let me show you never forget what the illustration I want to show you for the rest of your life please let's hurry up our time is gone eight people come gentlemen four of you stand here four of you stand it's okay um, eight only just four of you stand here just stand looking at me four of you <laughs> South Africa I love you trust me hold on all right you stand here watch this blessed be the name of the Lord please stand sir what do I do with this man now <laughs> hallelujah you stand up here sir or, or you just come here don't mind all the drama I'm acting now it is so that you will never forget you stand here just just look at me you stand here you stand here right so you with him you with him you with him now watch this so I uh, let me find something for you watch this can you space yourselves a little now please it looks like we're acting but this is your destiny pay attention the way God designed life is that for every realm you get into there are possibilities in that realm there is a realm that is impossible to get to and not be a millionaire it's impossible the law of God's justice does not allow you to be in that realm broke watch this how many if you see your man of God now are we together now you see your man of God trying to lose the tire of his car the realm he's in does not allow him to do that when you are there it's not pride you are compelled by reason of his growth to collect it and do it for him there is a realm where you will never fly economy again now it's not just some economy business when no matter how humble you are it is the implication listen so watch this all of this call them realms level one level two level three now watch this maybe for instance the breakthrough you want hold it and lift it up is in level three and this is where you are now this is how we fake our lives you quickly try to manipulate your way and get this the law will take you back to where you are because you did not get it by growth I show you the mystery behind the balloon success of people up today down tomorrow it's not just an attack we violate principles watch this this young man is about to be a sign and a wonder and you start right here from your one room this is the nation these are levels now guys this is what I want you to do for every step I take you to move are you together now watch this let me show you how success comes success is a product of who you are becoming not just what you are doing it is first being before doing business people hear me it is more than doing it is being before doing so you are here the Holy Ghost comes to you you are praying in the name of Jesus 
the power of the Holy Ghost is at work in me. While you are watching those videos in the night, using your phone, you don't even have enough recharge. This is what you are doing. You are growing. Listen, imagine the burden of looking for all these things one by one. The system of God saved you that stress. Media, popularity, no, leave all those things. Watch this. Somewhere in this equation is your business class, your private jet. Somewhere here is your house, your mall. Don't be concerned about those. There is a system design that as you grow, creation responds. Please find a way of believing what I teach you tonight. Take it higher for me. So I'm here. Lord, you have called me to be a great businessman in South Africa. You've called me to be a prophet and an apostle. I don't even have an idea on how growth should happen. I don't have any helper. But one thing I know is that my mind is not just some scientific, metaphysical thing. No. So the word of God is coming. Shabaru skeda brakata barada. Shake it. No, you are moving too far. Slowly, right? I mean, just don't take wide steps because he has a long journey. Watch this. Excel 2016. 2017. Now, watch this. By 2018, some results start coming because you have now come to a level. Watch this. It may not be much. Someone can give you 10 runs. 100 runs it is only a report card that you are making progress it may not do you much hear me you're a businessman at this level someone notices what you are doing kings do not come to your light so don't expect them to come at this level they will not patronize your restaurant at this level but it does not mean they are not in the equation of your success you just started the business so it is not lack of faith when it's shaking here and there it is a law your determination as your mind keeps growing you can take a bus from one region to the other whereas the airports are there do it with honor because you will miss those days very soon are we blessed then you get to a level where it becomes very frequent 10 10 runs 100 100 runs not more but they are frequent now you have stabilized in this realm but it's time to grow at this level as a preacher someone says come and lead a little prayer group don't feel insulted and say my vision I saw cathedrals and stadiums God did not lie but you are still on your way coming so Joseph is in the house of Potiphar he's not there yet but he's also not there I'm showing you where you are now listen to me because Satan is the master of the flesh realm he will come and say in four years oh dear businessman you started your telecoms company everything crashed i mean your 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 reach is so small and sometimes you are tempted you are you are a whatever it is maybe maybe you 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 dress like like that my my dear um a wonderful friend there you dress people and you do this and your god has shown you kings but at this level you are rising moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found now let me tell you where we miss it you look at yourself and then you watch someone on tv who you think you are better than and you say no 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 i shouldn't be at this level i will promote myself now let me tell you the disaster because of the power of your will you will come here but you will find out that you have not been taught the ability to walk in the palace growth did not mentor you to know how to stand before kings so you come to pharaoh without shaving your beard because if you grew somewhere in your growth process you will be taught the ethics of increase hear me don't 
don't pity people too much that you push them unnecessarily let them grow thank you are we together now thank you let them grow sometimes we love people too much in we think we are accelerating seasons whereas we are opening them watch this i always give this analogy you see how clean this handkerchief is now respectfully speaking you can see someone maybe whom all these people that just do things at the road and tell him i give you a gift in two weeks this handkerchief will change color the handkerchief is responding to his mind you held this handkerchief for one year it still remain white because the excellence in your mind is what is captured here now have you given your dress to someone a dress that you wore for one year and now he's wearing it for two months and you can't identify it again it's not the dress it's the mind listen there are people who buy cars that their minds and their levels should not have and they never get blessed you sit in that car and you know it's illegal you feel it everything around because the supporting systems you cannot have a car that size and yet not have the relationships to defend that results if you grew together with your results there would be strategic connections that will justify your remaining in that realm hear me God is speaking to someone it is true you are a champion but you may need to return to grow well some of you need to start this journey with honor it is true you are a prophet to the nations but running around and asking people to invite you is proof you are not there watch this neither do men light a lamp the system of God already sorted your being seen just grow listen I don't care what your background is if you grow the light that comes from your growth will draw any nation and anybody to you it is true listen you will thank me for what you are hearing tonight because the next time God grants us the grace to see when you see the tomorrow version of you you will look at yesterday and say no this is not true you mean that was me listen time does not change anything tomorrow things will change is nonsense time only reveals you grow when your mind grows I'm reading the books I'm learning Holy Spirit I believe you conferences start coming gradually one day as you grow listen at this level you should not be without a car and the moment you step into this level the justice system of God will talk to someone across the head someone will have to give you a car because at this level of growth listen the church is 50 members you don't need five bosses no there is a level that if you grow that size of the church that influence in ministry makes it impossible to not have certain things it's not pride so rejoice not over me my enemies just give me time I know that when I was invited to a church, you would be saying in Johannesburg, I'm a prophet, but every name I called was not it. You are John. He said, no, 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 I'm not John. I'm Joseph. You have three people. He said, no, we are five in our family. <laughs> and at the end of it, you feel stupid. You live as if you just finished from a funeral. <laughs> Let me tell you, you will need that experience to mentor the people who you will have yeah. hear me run away from people who don't have scars they are dangerous yeah. let no man trouble me
I went through the school of the spirit let no man trouble me listen this is you you didn't know that at this level there is harsh criticism that comes so while you want to rush and say lord bring me here god is saying you are not ready mr man build capacity so that the day someone comes to antagonize your business you have built stamina and you know <laughs> This is the realm where veterans are. Come. Come, guys. Steal anything from them. They have drawn it too close. It won't go far. This is the realm where they can leave their house with no money. And before they get to the mall, something has happened. Their growth does not allow them to be embarrassed. Please go back. Let's act it one more time. My God. Please go back again. Business people hear me. Men of God hear me. Let me tell you this. Once upon a time in my life. It was difficult for me. To have the convenience. To even buy. And eat as I would want to eat. I come from a wonderful family. I'm sure they are watching now from Nigeria. Lovely people. I love them with all my heart but that was the reality and I knew trying to fake prosperity would be a waste because the same energy it takes to fake is what it takes to be real so I'm not going to be involved in that stupid venture of faking my life and after five years I discover that I'm not there now watch this right when i was here i knew that a day will come the blessed will call me blessed this was where the visions came i saw the nations from where i was i knew that a day would come the two leaf gates of nations will be opened i didn't know how but i knew that this was true riches the capital that buys influence the capital that buys relevance the capital that conquers the cosmos today I look at my life and all I can say is be glorified Galatians 1 24 has become a reality in my life and they glorified God in me I wish I had time for us to walk this. This is just one of it. I'm giving you a lot. Do business without this. You will only have a plethora of failed businesses. While I was here, the Holy Ghost came and said, give me your mind. Follow me. And I stupidly followed. One step after the other. He promised that the nations would open. He promised that the blessed would call me blessed. He promised. I believed him. Watch this. Please go back. You have one shirt and one trouser. Go to the boutique here. Go to the car stand here. Visit the airport here. Shake kings here. Build the church here. When you build the church, the Holy Ghost will start bringing them to you. Listen, when he was teaching me, I did not know you. Yet, today, he's brought us together. The same way, the clients that will lift you, you do not yet know where they are. Look for them here. They never get missing here. South Africa is too large to find them one by one. Save yourself that stress. I'm not saying marketing is wrong. With respect to the mind. And one day, you will sit back and watch kings come.
they will queue up in front of your mom and you will say I have only heard that God lifts but now my life is a testimony when apostle was starting this ministry you were still in South Africa but you were not yet here he called you from the spirit here and today you are here even if you as big and large as you are you were still drawn by the power of the mind what will stop money from coming to you now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundant above all we ask or think I found the key here and so I went to the crusades here I healed the sick here I lifted the wheelchairs here I raised the dead here I experienced the ministry of the Holy Ghost here and inevitably I'm comforting someone so that after service you will run back home and say I found the key They call you and say look let's try to i'm coming growth has already sorted me Let, let's try to lobby for a media interview is unnecessary there is a place in your growth where they will come running with cameras and say give us an opportunity to at least talk to you lay your hands on your mind and begin to prophesy in one minute decree and declare spirit of the living God breathe upon my mind let your word create the pictures of a future that is enviable take my eyes away from my background grant me access to light hallelujah praise the Lord God bless you our time is gone I can only give us one more oh dear you see why it takes time to grow many times when you are tired is proof that what is coming is not powerful because when the truth is powerful and is changing you your desire for more because you will be you would have been tired of wasting your time and you're saying look it's worth it instead of recycling one year of pain let me understand what i'm doing now true riches can i give you number two the second one that buys favor or buys buys money influence growth is called favor write it down the first thing I want to tell you please um, whatever I share here just listen to them and, and, and build on them and grow and um, sometimes my teachings can be controversial but I say it with an open heart and to help you I'm saying that because of what I want to tell you favor is the next of the true riches that I want to teach you The major reason why we do not get favor in the body of Christ is because we teach that it is unmerited. <laughs> if I ask you, define favor, you say unmerited access. You are right, but you are wrong. Very wrong. Now, I said you are right because it depends on the context it was taught. It is the manifestation of favor that looks effortless. There is a science to favor first if it happened only once it is not favor it is breakthrough the proof that it is favor is that it must be repeated regardless the circumstances exodus chapter 3 verse 21 you will know right now whether or not favor is working in your life i want you to read it exodus 3 21 one two read please 
Ajá. Emptiness has an explanation. It is proof that favor is not in your life. I will give you favor. Now, I don't have all the time to do detailed teachings on favor. But let me tell you this. Please look. The Bible says, I will give you favor in the sight. That means favor works with the power of sight. Notice, every time the Bible talks about favor, the Bible talks about the eyes. When favor is on you, real favor, the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man. Provided they can see you. That charm-like manifestation is what the Bible calls favor. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. I'm rushing, forgive me. Esther 2, 15. The last sentence. Esther 2, 15. From the last full stop. Ready to read? One, two, read. And Esther obtained favor in the of all them that looked upon her. When the grace for favor is on you, I'm passing and I look at you and suddenly the grace works. The grace works the moment sight is true. Please believe me. I know what I'm saying. That you watch someone and suddenly there is an urge to give, to sow, and to do it with joy. It's, it's favor. In the sight of all them, that looked upon her if everybody who looks upon you in a day blesses you will you really be poor if everybody that looks at your business because favor can come on your business as an entity it can come on your ministry so someone is passing and doesn't know why he feels like just coming to sit down that is your deacon another person comes to sit down that is the greatest financier in your ministry favor Favor makes men to exhibit magnetic properties. It has nothing to do with your nationality. It has nothing to do with gender. It has nothing to do with age. These are spiritual realities that buy physical things. Verse 17. We're about to pray. And the king. Look up please. Let me show you how real favor worked. Ready to read? Please read with me again. And the king loved Esther above hold on that's favor before esther came he or some other women were in the list but as soon as hadassah showed up he loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than more than if the king were looking at you and esther passed forget it it's over if they are looking at another business and yours passes, it's over. It's not about competition and fighting. It's, these are systems of advantage in the kingdom. This is the excellency of the supernatural life. Even the king. And then favor always puts a royal crown on your head. Favor. Favor. I think it's Proverbs 13, 15. Let's check it out. If I'm wrong, we'll just continue. But I think it is. Proverbs 13 and verse 15. Read with me if you're a Christian. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Leave that scripture there. The Bible talks about two mothers pregnant with children. The first mother is called good understanding and that she can be pregnant and the name of the child she gives birth to is called favor and that transgression a transgressor is not a sinner he's a violator of ordinances and principles you can even be a believer that a transgressor is also like a pregnant woman she can get pregnant and when she gives birth the name of her child is hardship hardship has an explanation That's why I told you favor is merited. Good understanding like you are having now. There are systems when you engage, you will program favor. There are keys.
praise the Lord. Favor is very powerful. Show me the money that entered from your salary and show me the one that came from favor. Can you tell the difference? In the afternoon, when we were done, I was about to enter the car. And then I'm looking at this little girl. And then suddenly, I just love this little girl and I call her and I hug her. Why was it not you? It's not because you are an adult. <laughs> not necessarily. Because in this conference, what I'm talking about must come upon you. Must come upon you. A man who looks at you every day and does not bless you, suddenly after this conference, you're on your way home. And he says, are you the one looking for a job? You say, yes. He says, have I attended to you? The moment that happens, just know you have obtained the capital that buys influence. The capital that buys money. Listen, the proof that favor is on you is not money. The proof that favor is on you is the loyalty of men. When I came in, I appreciate all of you for loving me so much. For many of you have not seen you. But what made you love me that much? This is what I want to come upon you. Amen. Apostle is because of the location of my business. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He climbed the mountain and a crowd came. He went by the riverside and the crowd came. Please hear me, because things will shift in your business. Things will shift in your life. Shift in your ministry. Favor. Favor. Favor is a real grace. Listen, I took one month of my life to pray for favor. I have not done you justice by teaching you all the principles that make for favor. But there are. But I will just tell you one as we wrap up. It's called the Esther anointing. Hmm. Esther chapter 2 again. Please give us verse 15. Now please listen to me. We're about to pray. Something must come upon you. There is a call because Vashti is thrown from the throne and that call gets to Shushan and they gather young virgins, prospective brides for the king. And here comes this village girl from somewhere in South Africa called Hadassah and she's trying her chance. Mordecai encourages her. Watch this. And then the Bible says, that now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go to see the king. Watch this. She required nothing but what Haggai, who was playing the role of the Holy Spirit, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. The Bible says, when you read the preceding verses, it says that, he gave her oil go to 16 oh dear i think it was uh, maybe the 14 or so there was an ointment that she rubbed for one year to see the king other women were learning how to walk wonderful learning how to talk wonderful but hey guy said i know the king the spirit no man knows the things of a man except the spirit of that man hey guys said i have walked with the king i know what he wants let me give you a kind of oil that you will keep rubbing for one year when one year is done go to the king thou anointed my head with oil hold on but i know what is on my head by looking at my cup he does not anoint my cup 
my cup is a report card showing what is on my head thou anointed my head with oil my ministry run it over thou anointed my head with oil my business run it over listen to me what is on you is what controls what is around you it is true it is true you can know what has come upon you by looking at the new experiences that are introduced into your space favor is powerful it is the number one reason we succeed in life you can have all the products and because we didn't have time to deal up on value and other things hopefully we may touch a bit on it as we wrap up tomorrow but let me tell you this I'm looking for what is applicable to everyone something you can go out with tonight and say I came to church without it but now I am returning with it that in one week by Sunday next week you return back to church on your knees and say what is this what is this hallelujah listen now listen I don't mean to brag but I can tell you my life is an unending wonder of what people do for me people have seen my account number in their dreams and have been instructed to continue to bless me for the rest of my life I don't know them people have called me and said the Lord instructed us to make you a non-executive board member in our business your spiritual value is all we want just give us your account number I said what is the meaning of this I apologize if it looks like I'm bragging forgive me my table is full of landed properties I've never gone there to even see what is there three years ago three kings came together and God just opened a door and they gave me 18.7 hectares of a gold mine listen please hear me I'm not here to psych you there is a real grace that lifts men your man of God and his wife the apostles and the men of God here are testaments occultists know this they continue to sell and do everything but behind the scenes they know that it is what is on you that controls what is around you listen in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters hear me I came into your city and I am humbled by the gifts and the seeds that people have brought already it is not normal and it is not because I am Apostle Joshua Selman it is a grace on your life everybody who blesses you has relatives in need whatever makes him forget them and comes to you must be of God hear me everybody on earth is a giver there's no such thing as stingy people right. they just feel you are not worthy to receive their seats they will refuse to give you 10,000 rands for something and yet bring 500,000 rands and tell someone else let it be an honor to give you they are, are they stingy greed is relative to the grace that it responds to because even Egyptians can give to the slaves there is something that comes upon you when Pharaoh gives to you you are really anointed we have to pray <sighs> hmm. South Africa the Lord wants to shift us to new levels hear me 
when God grants us access to these graces sometimes as men of God we mismanage these graces in pride the goal is that it be distributed to the body when he sends a word to Jacob is because he's looking at Israel many of you here are veterans in business many of you here are men and women of God music artists business people politicians and all kinds of great people and like I said in the morning I'm not here tonight to insult your pedigree I know that you have sustained intelligence and I respect your experience but can we in addition to that which we have received trust God tonight even in heaven he said come up hither there is still room for more praise the Lord and so I want to pray for you right now we are going to pray I taught you two things your mind and favor that success is not what you pursue is what you attract by who you are becoming and that everything you are looking for is also looking for you the assignment of conferences like this is to accelerate your meeting your house is in South Africa your land is looking for you I'm here to help you find it the donkey was also looking for Saul Saul was looking it was not just Saul that was missing or the donkey as far as the donkey was concerned Saul too was missing listen listen your land has been asking when will you come your clients have been asking when will you come you think they are the ones who are delaying they are saying you are also delaying us your members are crying when will you call us my assignment tonight is to bring you together rise up on your feet 